Hey guys, Joe Paris here and welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to get a widescreen effect for your videos. Now this has become very popular and you see this a lot in cinematic video. So if you go to the movies or if you just turn on TV and you watch a movie, you'll see these two black bars and it makes the screen this, it gives it a widescreen effect and it kind of crops in the video. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and drop down our video clip here into our new project. And let's just title this uh, new one, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and we'll bring it down. So here I am at the park in downtown Chicago and I now want to, as you can see here, start to kind of crop this a little bit and to kind of give you that widescreen effect. Well, how exactly do we do that? It's actually easier than you think. Now, there's going to be a few different parts that I'm going to show you when you complete this video, but if you just have one clip, all you're gonna to wanna to do is find your letterbox and your letterbox is going to be in your effects. So, all you wanna do is type right in here at the bottom, L-E-T-T-E-R, and the letterbox effect will pop up. All you wanna do from there is click on it, drag it over right on top of your clip and let go. Once you do that, you'll see just by default now, as I kinda of move my playhead right to the middle, this little black bar and it's underneath. And it's kinda of hard to see in this example because it's not very big, but you want to then look over and you'll see in your inspector here, the letterbox effect and if I click this little check mark, you'll see the black bar is kind of moving in and out. So what aspect ratio do we want to use to have the correct cinematic widescreen effect? What most people are using and what seems to be the best is the 2.35. This here gives you that very nice widescreen effect and it's not too much and it's not too little. This is what I see everybody using and it just seems like it's a very good fit. Now, you can choose 2.55 and you'll see it crops it even more. You can choose 3.0 and it crops it even more. But if you do something like this, you're really limiting the picture and yes, it's super widescreen, but for most of us, the 2.35 is where we're going to stay and where we wanna go. So it's really that simple. Now, here's where this can get a little more complicated and I want to now give you another example of let's say you have more than one clip. So let me take another drone footage clip here of me on the beach in Florida, put these two together. Maybe I'll take another piece of it here and maybe one more small piece and we'll drop it in there. Well, as you can see right now, as this will kind of take a second to render through, you'll see here that in this video, I have the widescreen effect, but in this video clip, I don't. So when this would completely render through, what would happen is, is I'd have the widescreen bars on this part of the clip, but then it would go and I would not be widescreen throughout the rest of the video. So you might be asking yourself, all right, well, how do I get the widescreen effect in the entire video if it goes from point A, which is all the way to the front here, to point Z all the way to the end? Well, you could just completely take the letterbox and drop it in here again and drop it in here again and drop it onto this clip, right? And then go from there, go to your aspect ratio again, and then click on the 2.35, okay, great. Same thing here, and I'll move my playhead over so that you can actually see that happening in real time. There we go, and then if I click here, move the playhead, great, and then there. So now, if you were to look at it, it's going to uh, go all the way from here, which is the one clip, and then it's going to play to the next clip, and then the next clip is gonna play, and you have that very nice cinematic effect. Uh, you get that widescreen effect. But I had to drop the letterbox in every single time. So let's say I undo that. Let's say I undo all of that for these three clips by just clicking Command-Z on a Mac or Control if you're on your Windows computer. Now, there's something that I wanna teach you to make this way easier if, let's say, you have 
maybe 50 or 60 little clips here and you want to apply this widescreen effect to all of those. Well, how do we do that? There is something called an adjustment layer. So what an adjustment layer does is it literally adjusts everything underneath it. So if you have B-roll film or if you have other clips above, titles, transitions, this adjustment layer, all you'll have to do is apply the effect to the adjustment layer and everything else underneath it will be applied. So that effect will be applied to everything underneath. So let me show you exactly how that works. So in my titles, I have my adjustment layer. Now you don't have an adjustment layer if you just have just taken Final Cut Pro out of the box. I'm going to put a link in the description here showing you where I was able to get an adjustment layer and the gentleman who was able to give it to us for free. So there'll be a link in the description and he has a video that shows you exactly how to download the adjustment layer and how to get it into Final Cut Pro 10. It's really not as difficult as it may seem. But now that I have it uploaded, let me just show you how this works. So you take this adjustment layer just like any other title and you bring it down. Now from here, I can stretch it across these three clips. And if I want to add this same letterbox effect, instead of dragging and dropping it to three individual clips and going through that whole process, I just do it to the adjustment layer. Now, from here, I'm gonna take my playhead, put it over the adjustment layer, and double click on the adjustment layer. And from there, I'm going to click on this film strip, and that's going to give me the effects and the letterbox panel here. And from here, I'm going to just simply apply my aspect ratio 2.35. And you can see now that that has been applied to this clip, to this clip, and to this clip. Why? Because of this adjustment layer. So if I were to delete the adjustment layer, you'll see that that goes away. Now if I undo that, and there it comes. So an adjustment layer is a great way to apply an effect all the way across your timeline. So that's how you get a cool little cinematic widescreen effect here on Final Cut Pro 10. If you guys liked this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm going to be teaching you how I've been able to create some pretty cool short films myself, how to use Final Cut Pro 10, because this is what I use to really do all my editing for my online teaching business, which is just going crazy right now. And also, it's a really fun skill to have, even if you're just doing it for fun. Also, make sure to turn on the bell for notifications for all my new YouTube videos. You're going to be seeing a lot of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, and I'm going to be teaching you some more advanced stuff and how to get some really pretty cool effects using Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to teaching you more coming up in our next videos. Yeah!